Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of a new Trekkie. My five year mission to search out Star Trek media, to seek out our fans and merchandise, to boldly go where no fan has gone before. Greetings and salutations. How's everybody doing? So, it's been a while since I've been in my room talking about things. So, today we're looking at an episode of TNG, in this case, Cause and Effect. And basically what happened in this episode was, um, the Enterprise crew is caught in a time loop, and each time they end up um, interacting with the U.S. Bozeman, and each time they end up in certain in utter destruction. Um, and basically every time they basically kaboom. They go back to where they started from and are trying to, in a way, figure out how to change it to make things right. Even though they don't, even though they don't realize, they start to, as the loop goes on, realize, like, say, hmm, something screwy is going on here. Um, having seen many, like, you know, movies and TV shows that have done, like, episodes where, you know, like, say, a Groundhog Day kind of vibes, which this episode kind of has, um, I thought the direction from Jonathan Frakes was pretty, was fairly well done. He did a great job directing this episode. Shields up. You base up maneuvers. Shields an operative. The helm is not responding. The vessel is on a collision course. Impact in 36 seconds. Hail them. No response. Um, and... I kind of think that the idea, like, whenever they have moments of data and the, some of the crew members playing poker and the, each time they, like, say, hmm, play this card. And they're all fairly like, say, oh, this seems familiar. It all seems to work fairly well. I will say, though, that as an episode of TNG, it works. The thing that just... It can be kind of like, say, when you're watching it for the for first time, it can be kind of um, jarring, especially if you don't realize until, like, later in the episode, oh, this is a time loop episode. And after your first time, you feel like you say, okay, I get it. Keep dealing, Data. Eight. Ace? A queen. You're going to give me a queen. And you're going to get a four. Deal, Data. But no one has bet. Oh, forget the bet, just deal. And then the second time, he goes, Okay, I get it. It works out perfectly. But see, by the third time, he goes, like, Okay, I feel like we're on repeat. But it's not a bad thing. It felt like, you know, like how sometimes, like when you watch, like, an ep like you film, like Groundhog's Day. You get used to, like, say, each character, like, a character doing things constantly to try to, like, do better. Like, sort of like in a video game. And, yeah, I, the thing that makes this episode pretty great is, like, the fact that, you know, you have actors like Frazier's Kelsey Grammer showing up as a captain of the U.S. Bozeman. This is Captain Morgan Bateson of the Federation Starship Bozeman. Can we render assistance? I'm Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the Federation Starship Enterprise. We were just going to ask you the same thing. Captain Picard, your vessel is not familiar to us. Captain, have you any idea what has just happened? Our sensors detected a temporal distortion. Then your ship appeared. We nearly hit you. Um, Kirstie Alley was supposed to appear in this episode, but she was not able to, um, for her, 
like, you know, reprise her role from The Wrath of Khan, but she was not able to because of scheduling. Ah, uh, honestly, I kind of think the idea of the cr crew interacting with, like, you know, crews of, like, you know, starships of the past is a pretty cool idea. I kind of wish that was, like, you know, they had more interactions, like, you know, they had been, like, on the you know, they had a moment where they talked to each other on a screen instead of, you know, just at the end, like, say, hey, um, what's going on here kind of vibes. I mean, I kind of like this episode. It's fairly entertaining. I, I just wish that we had more of uh, Kelsey Grammer in it. I mean, overall, not a bad episode. I kind of enjoyed it. See you next time.